The pencil tool in the designer persona allows for freeform drawing and has some great features to help with line work. This is a vector tool, so I'll also show you how to edit the strokes afterwards with the node tool. I'll select the pencil tool from the tools panel and check on the color panel that my stroke is set to black and the fill is empty. I'm also going to take a look in the stroke panel and set my stroke style to solid line. I could change the width on the slider or input a value, but I like to hover the cursor over the box and use the scroll wheel. Now I'm going to hold the left mouse button to draw my first line. As you can see, it has recorded all the little imperfections and placed nodes along the curve. I can switch to the node tool using A and edit some of these nodes. It's easier to make a smoother curve with fewer nodes, so I'm going to select a few of them and remove them by pressing the delete key. I can also manipulate the control handles to smooth the curve. As I mentioned earlier, this tool creates vector curves, so like the line placement, I can also change the line's appearance afterwards. With the move tool selected using V, I can use the square brackets to quickly increase or decrease the line width, or I can go back to the stroke panel and change it from here. I could also change other settings too, like the line style, the cap type, or create a custom pressure profile. I can click to create nodes along the line, and remove them by selecting them and pressing the delete key. The first and last nodes have a little dot in the centre to show that they'll move together. However, I can click into it to unlock it and now it moves independently. Here you can see we've created a tapered end to our curve. I can also use the reset button in the bottom right to restore the profile back to its default position. The pencil tool has some helpful features on the context toolbar. I'll press Escape to close the profile and N to move back to the pencil tool. We can change the stroke colour and width from here and there are two types of stabilisers which can be toggled on and off. First I'll show you the window mode and if we hover over it you can read a brief description. The window mode smooths the stroke by averaging sampled input positions within an area or window. We also have the rope mode and again if we hover over it we can read a brief description for it. It pulls the line behind it as if it's on a rope. You can alter the length of the rope on the context toolbar. A longer rope will be more tolerant against cursor jitters, creating smoother lines. You can create a sharp looking corner by redirecting a slackened rope. I'll just remove the pressure profile on this curve and neaten it up with the node tool. Next I'll show you the sculpt feature. I'll enable it on the context toolbar and reduce the stabiliser length for this example. Sculpt will allow you to continue a curve that you have released, so you don't have to join them together afterwards. If I switch to the move tool, we can see this is one curve. I can also add a fill to the curve by enabling Use Fill and choosing a colour on the colour panel. I'm going to draw the beaks, so I'll use the colour picker to sample a gold from the artwork. Now when I draw, I can also see the fill. Finally, we can use Auto Clothes. This automatically connects the last node of the pencil stroke back to the first one when the mouse button is released. So that's it. A quick look at the pencil tool and its helpful features. Thanks for watching.